Mes enfants, are you ready for your next French lesson? We're doing a very basic lesson called expressions. Est ce que? Now, what does est ce que means? It is is it that. In English, if we keep using est ce que to ask questions, it will sound a little odd. If I say est ce que c'est une règle? Is it that this is a ruler? You can see that the translation is, is this a ruler? It basically means, is this a ruler? But when we use esaka, it actually means, is it that this is a ruler? Which sounds a little odd. Esaka, ce sont des gonds. Is it that these are some gloves? Which basically means, are these gloves? Est-ce que Pierre a un frère? Does Peter have a brother? Now, for making interrogative, there are three ways that you could use in French. This is the simplest method, which is why they have taught it to you first. Let us do the other two also. Okay, there are three methods that we will learn. How to make a sentence interrogative. The first method we have covered already using a ce que which means is it that and then you put whatever in the affirmative and use the question mark. If you don't use the question mark it cannot be called a question. The second method in English what we call the question tag method is also very simple. You make your statement and then use Nes pa, which means isn't it? Esika means is it that whatever is it that you work? Is it that your mother works? So you can write whatever you want in the affirmative using esika or your mother works, isn't it? Isn't it? Now, in French, this is a very simple method because in English we use haven't they, don't they, isn't he, aren't we. So we use different question tags depending on the verb used. But here we have a common question tag that is nespa, isn't it? You are happy, isn't it? He is sad, isn't it? So you don't have to make into isn't he or aren't you. Have you understood? This is the simple method. But in the exam, you will be using the third method. This method is known as the inversion. It is known as the inversion because we are going to invert the subject and the verb. As in English, suppose I say I am a teacher. Am I not? Or he works. Does he not? We normally use question tags, but very rarely do we use inversion. We can't say works he, can we? He loves, can we say loves he? No, it won't make any sense in English, but in French, this is the right method. This is the method that you will use for most of your questions to make it interrogative. I'll give you an example. For example, tu pal. P-A-R-L-E-S means you speak. We have already done ER verbs. In this, tu pal means you speak. If I want to make it interrogative, I just have to invert it. P-A-R-L-E-S hyphen tu, which will mean do you speak? A lot of children get confused because they can't see any word do. And if you invert it in English, it doesn't make any sense if you say, speak you. You can't say that. It means, do you speak. But this is the right method. In English, we use it only for auxiliary verbs. For example, are you? Is he? Have I? For that, it sounds perfectly fine. Or can I? May I? But for all the other verbs, 
we are not used to the inversion method in English but in French it's perfectly acceptable now we have to be careful about some verbs especially the ER verbs in the third person singular like PAL P-A-R-L-E and if we invert it with IL or with L you will notice that there is a vowel and a vowel which clashes so we will put one extra T over here to make it PAL TIL which means does he speak IL PAL will mean he speaks but PAL TIL will mean does he speak have you got this clearly now this is the easiest method Essica of course we can use NESPA but these two are used more in conversation while the third method that is the inversion method is what you will use when you actually have to solve your exercises please pay attention here let us put down one entire verb in the inverted method because this is what we will be using for exam only for je that is I we can use the first method but for all the others we will be using the inverted method have you understood let us do one verb now which is an ER verb and we will make it in the interrogative form let us take the verb donne donne means to give but we want to use it in the interrogative form not as in I give you give but do I give does he give we don't have to use the auxiliary verb do or does in French we directly invert it except for je est-ce que je donne which will mean is it that I give or do I give you can translate it either which way from the next one D O N N E S hyphen do do you give don't ill does he give you know that for ill and for l third person singular we use it the same way don't know no will mean do we give Donnez vous. Do you give? Now, for people who don't remember, tu was you singular, tum as in for a little child, or you singular. Vous was up for someone plural or with respect because somebody is older. Is it that I give? Or you could translate it as do I give? Do you give? Does he give? Do we give? do you give and the last one do they give here even though this starts with a vowel it does not clash because this ends with a T is this clear please copy it down question